Today I'm going to show you how to use alternate row colors to turn this into this and this into this. All right, let's go ahead and jump right in. So if we select our tab here between A and 1, you can click on this section right here and select the whole tab. We click on format and then alternating colors and then we can select a default style, something like this. And if we click done, we've immediately applied that to our tab. So that's a very quick and easy way to do that. If you want to stick around, I'm going to quickly run you through some ways to modify this. So if we want to modify this on existing, we'll go ahead and click on format again and alternating colors. And then you'll see our settings over here. And so we could do stuff like we could drop down a row if we don't want to include this header in it. And at that point, we probably want to deselect header. So you have this option for header and footer. So if we do footer, then you can see all the way down the bottom, that one's formatted differently. On a tab like this, where you have a bunch of data sitting, you probably don't need a footer unless you have subtotals or something like that. But um, this is a place where sometimes you use a header if you want to include that header. Otherwise, you can deselect. And you can see that it starts in row two here um, when we have that selected. So. We can also reset that if we go back to A1 and add that header back. And then next, let's look at another thing we do. So we have all these default styles. You can also select your own colors here. And so we could select a different header color here. So we could do something purple, for example. Um, you can even add a custom color if you select this. And you can put in a hex color here or those RGB values there. But let's just pick something like this green here. And then maybe for our secondary color, we'll pick a light green, something like that. And that's a very clean look. So you can play around with this. You can even add a color for your number one color as well. If you want to do something like this and maybe a little darker. Uh, so you can pick whatever colors you like for those. It gives you that flexibility. And then when you're happy with your selection, then you can just click on done and it's set up like that. If you want to quickly modify some other things real quick here, you can freeze this top row so it's always visible. You just click and drag when you see that hand symbol, just like that. And then if we want to do a quick other tweaks in here, we could do stuff like add a little border between these. Uh, we can select this border, maybe pick a white and then just do that vertically in between by using those vertical borders. And then we can modify maybe this font, maybe pick this one here, add bold. And then that looks pretty clean and sweet, just like that. So we'll go ahead and call that good for the moment. And let's go to dashboard. And so on this dashboard, we see that we don't want the whole tab. So I'm not going to select here and do alternating colors. That would be really funky. So let's just select this section here. And then under format, alternating colors. And again, I could select a default style here. Maybe that one looks pretty good, but here you can see we probably do want a footer to offset this total down below. So you can see like that, maybe we could pick one, this color scheme here, or that one looks pretty nice. So once you decide which one you like, you can go ahead and click on done. And then we could modify it here if you like. Some people like to offset a darker one with maybe white text. And then we could do, use that same white border if we want to in between, just to give a little more definition between those columns. We could do the same thing down here. And that makes it look really clean and simple and professional. So that is it for today. I hope that helps you to see how quick and easy it is to use this alternate colors for your rows to just make your data pop. Thanks for watching, guys. If this video is helpful for you, make sure to like and subscribe. Check out our other videos for more tutorials and tips on both Google Sheets and Google Apps Script. Thanks, and have a great day.